we're going to be talking about the pencil tool in that video and how to draw freeform shapes with Adobe Illustrator you can be selecting your pencil tool from here in that area under shaper tool or by pressing in for shortcut and it's very recommended if you're going to draw a freeform shape to use a drawing tablet and by far the best drawing tablets are Wacom's I'm using one in here so if I start the drawing you're gonna be seeing a smooth line like that it's gonna be harder to achieve that with my mouse however if you're not gonna use a drawing tablet don't worry about that you can be drawing by the bend tool which we're gonna be covering later in other lessons so anyway as you can see when we start drawing with our pencil tool we're gonna be finding our stroke by default in black and we can be changing our stroke weight from here maybe to make that one one or even maybe four as it was and you can be changing your strokes color from here maybe choosing that color and you can draw freely any shape you would like and you can be double clicking on your pencil tool to edit its settings and here you're gonna be seeing fidelity you can be making that one either accurate or smooth so and when you press ok and start drawing the illustrator will be imitating my curves in a very accurate way however if we choose the smooth option making that one smooth and drawing maybe the same shape in here it's gonna be much more smoother if we deselect that one you will be seeing the difference between both shapes and it's gonna be depending on your drawing style and what shapes you're drawing so you can be switching between accurate and smooth or even keep it as default maybe to the center as it was or even a little bit too smoother or accurate in here and if you select that one fill new pencil strokes and you choose a fill color maybe that fill color and maybe start drawing a circle like this one and then when we start getting closer to our start point our path will be closed and we will be having our path filled however if we deselect that one in here and we start drawing the same circle like that it's not gonna be filled and by default our fill color will be none and going back to our options and keep selected means that when you start drawing your path it will be selected maybe to edit that path or continue drawing on the same path that you started so this one is quite important to make your life much easier while you're drawing and also you can be using the option or alt key to toggle a smooth tool and we're gonna be seeing that in a minute so let's keep that one selected and going back to our pencil tool and now i'm gonna draw a shape maybe like this one so as you can see we've got our pass kept selected and we can be pressing the alt or option key and drawing our shape again to make it even smoother in these points and so on or even you can be smoothing your paths from object and going to path then you're gonna be seeing simplify and then you can be switching preview and you will see that we had originally 28 anchor points which are these points and they got to be 20 points and we can even reduce these points to make it even smoother going to maybe zero and now we have only 16 points and our curve got even more smoother and we can be controlling our angle threshold from here as well to make this one maybe 100 percent and you will see that our angles are getting changed in these parts or even make it a little bit like 50 percent and you can be controlling your angles also from here getting this back to zero as it was and you can be showing original from here and we're gonna be seeing our path before it got simplified so it can be helping us to see which one we're gonna be choosing and also we can be converting our path instead of angles like that to straight lines from here hiding our original shape and you will be having a zigzag effect as you can see in here so turning this one off and back to our shape and going back to our settings and here you will be seeing closed passes when ends are within 15 pixels you can increase that or reduce that one for more accurate drawing experience and also you can be editing your selected paths within 6 pixels or even increase that number or make it less and anytime you would like to reset these settings you can be hitting the reset button from here pressing ok and now when I start moving the pencil tool near to our path end within 6 pixels I'm gonna be seeing that forward slash symbol which means that I can complete our selected path 
and make sure that you've got your path selected and you can be drawing that shape to continue drawing your path or even you can rearrange that anytime by drawing nearby and it will be redrawn like that and as you can see maybe you don't like that part in here you can make that one maybe like that and you can be using the alt key to smoothen that part maybe like that then we can start drawing holding the alt key while we're drawing will be giving us straight lines so maybe i need to make that part in a straight line and then it will be straightened like that or even using the shift key which will be giving us also straight lines but only on 45 degrees or 90 degrees so you can see only these options available however if we start drawing and pressing the alt key it will be giving us a straight line like that and once releasing the alt we're gonna be having our straight line feature off and back to free form drawing as you can see so always remember that you have to select your path first to start editing that path by your pencil tool okay that was Khalil Ibrahim with you and I'll be seeing you in next lesson